Today, we're going to calculate the mass percents of lead and iodine in lead to iodide. First thing is we've got to find the total mass of the compound, and then we can find those percentages easy peasy. I have a nice little table to help us out. Take a look. Bam. So the first step is to write the elements down that we have in the compound. So we have lead and we have iodine. Next is then to identify the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts of each element come into play. If you don't see a uh, subscript there, just write in a 1. So you got 1 lead, 2 iodine. Then you're going to simply take those number of atoms and multiply by the mass of each element. Those mass are found on the table. So here, that periodic table, that is not on your table like right in front of you necessarily. Uh, but, you know, lead here is going to be 207.2. Iodine is 126.9. So let's write that on in, all right? So this is going to be 207.20, and this is 126.9. Uh, zero. All right. So now all we need to do to find the total mass of each element is we're simply going to multiply this row on a cross. So the total mass of then a lead is going to be 207.20. The total mass of now iodine is going to be 253. Let me make that a little bigger. 253.80. Then to find the total mass of the entire compound, literally just add this column on up. All right. So that's going to work out to be 461. And there you have it, my friend. There's the total mass. Now with that mass in hand, I'm going to add a column to the table. Calculating these percentages is going to be so simple. Take a look. Bam. So to find the mass percent of now lead, we're going to take the total mass of the lead there, the 207.20, divide it then by the total mass of the entire compound. That's why we needed to calculate that first. All right. Then just multiply that by 100 to get it in percentage terms. And this is a simple percent calculation, part over whole times 100. All you now need to do is look at this particular column to figure out these percentages. Okay. So create a, the table creates some nice structure here, and it makes, I think, the process fairly straightforward. So now... That's the total percentage there, 44.95 for lead. Iodine then is going to be 253.80, all divided by the 461.00. Multiply that by 100, and then you're going to find a percentage of roughly roughly 55.05. All right, and then if you added those together, it should equal 100%. That's a good little way to check yourself. And look, that's how happy you are right now, right? That's how happy you are because you're finally done with this problem. All right. And almost probably done, hopefully, with chemistry, right? Well, actually, not really because you'll probably be viewing this at the... Either you're viewing this video if you're first starting chemistry or you're reviewing for your final. So it's either birth or death, I guess, right? Okay. Toodaloo.